In computing, the term extensible style sheet language is used to refer to a family of languages used to transform and render XML documents. Historically, the XSL Working Group and W3C produced a draft specification under the name XSL, which eventually split into three parts, XSL Transformation, an XML language for transforming XML documents, XSL Formatting Objects, an XML language for specifying the visual formatting of an XML document, XML Path Language, a non-XML language used by XSLT, and also available for use in non-XSLT contexts, for addressing the parts of an XML document. As a result, the term XSL is now used with a number of different meanings, sometimes it refers to XSLT, this usage is best avoided. However, XSL is used both as the conventional namespace prefix for the XSLT namespace, and as the conventional file name suffix for files containing XSLT style sheet modules. Sometimes it refers to XSLFO. This usage can be justified by the fact that the XSLFO specification carries the title Extensible Style Sheet Language. However, the term XSLFO is less likely to be misunderstood. Sometimes it refers to both languages considered together, or to the working group that develops both languages. Sometimes, especially in the Microsoft world, it refers to a now obsolete variant of XSLT developed and shipped by Microsoft as part of MS XML before the W3C specification was finalized. This article is concerned with the various usages of the term XSL. For details of the various languages embraced by the term, see the relevant article. History, XSL began as an attempt to bring the functionality of DSSSL, particularly in the area of print and high-end typesetting, to XML. In response to a submission from Arbortext, INSO, and Microsoft, a W3C working group on XSL started operating in December 1997, with Sharon Adler and Steve Zills as co-chairs, with James Clark acting as editor and Chris Lilly as the W3C staff contact. The group released a first public working draft on August 18, 1998. XSLT and XPATH became W3C recommendations on November 16, 1999 and XSLFO reached recommendation status on October 15, 2001. The XSL family equals XSL transformations equals XSL Transformations currently has many implementations available. Several web browsers, including Internet Explorer, Opera and Safari, all support transformation of XML to HTML through XSLT. Other notable implementations include Saxon and Zolin. Support in Firefox, Mozilla, and Netscape is incomplete. Support of disable outputs escaping does not work which is why HTML fragments are not rendered properly. This bug is known since 2001 HTTPS, bugzilla.mozilla.org slash show underscore bug.cgi question mark id equal 98168 equals XSL formatting objects equals support for XSL formatting objects is available in a number of products. The XEP package from RenderX has near 100% support for XSLFO 1.0, XSL Formatter from Antenna House also has near 100% support for the XSLFO 1.0 specification and has 100% support for all new features within the XSLFO 1.1 specification, XINC from Lunazil has a great amount of support for the XSLFO 1.0 specification. FOP from the Apache project can render a portion of the XSL formatting objects 1.0. Specification to PDF, XML to PDF formatting engine server from Altsoft has near 100% support for the XSLFO 1.1. These products support output in a number of file formats, to varying degrees, portable document format, postscript, SVG, MIF, PCL, text files equals XPATH equals XML path language, itself part of the XSL family, functions within XSLT as a means of navigating an XML document. Another W3C project, XQUEOY, aims to provide similar capabilities for querying XML documents using XPATH. 
References External links, XSL Language Definition Extensible Stylesheet Language Holman, G. Ken. What is XSLFO? XML.com O'Reilly Media, Inc. Retrieved September 1, 2008. Tutorial and reference of XSLT and XSLFO, XML Focus Topics, CSS, XSL, XSLFO, IBM XSL Formatting Objects Composer.